Is swan soap gentle? I'll say it is. It's mild as Castile and a sudden whiz. Then I'll take several, because from this day on, the floating soap for me is swan. Friends, why don't you join the big swing to the new swan soap? It's baby gentle, and it suds like 60. Good evening. The makers of Rinso are proud to present The Mayor of the Town, starring Lionel Barrymore. Up they go, down they go. Sounds like a seesaw, but really that's how easy it is to wash dishes with the new anti-sneeze Rinso. Up go those extra rich Rinso suds, and down goes that pile of greasy dishes. Before you can say, old man Wilcox was right. Pretty slick, eh? Getting those dishes done easy as pie for less than a cent a day? Yep. And Rinso's kind to your hands, too. Better get some tomorrow. You'll like it. And now, the mayor of the town, starring Lionel Barrymore. Evening, Judge. Evening, Mayor. Feel like a game of checkers? Mm, Might. Good, come on in. Evening, Judge. You're might early this evening. Yeah, got through dinner early. Well, there's your board all set up. Sit down, Judge, sit down. Prepare yourself for a real trimming. Yeah, we'll see about that. Hmm. Well, I reckon I'll catch up on my darning. Mayor, I don't know what you do to your socks. I can put my whole fist through these holes. Well, if he just buys socks that aren't too small for People him... People in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. I've seen your own mending baskets, <laughs> Judge. <laughs> all right, all right. I bow. <laughs> your move, Mayor. As if a man could help getting holes in his socks. If there's anything I hate, it's intolerance. If you've got something to say, speak up. Quit muttering into your chin. Well, it's my chin. I'll mutter into it if I want to. Now, who can that be? Go ahead and move, if you can. If you'd keep your mind on the game, you wouldn't get cornered like that. Mr. Judge, will you kindly play your own game and let me play mine? You're turning into a crusty old fool. You're a poor loser, Mayor. Haven't lost yet. It's a Mr. Henry Kane and Mr. James Jennings from Globe Pictures in Hollywood to see you. Oh, confound it. I forgot all about them. Well, where are they? Out in the front porch. I wasn't letting them in until I found out whether you wanted to see them. I'll let them in. Let them in. Well, all right. Don't rush me. How was I to know you wanted to see them? <sighs> Thinking of going into pictures, Mayor? <laughs> no, no. It's just some tomfoolishness of the Chamber of Commerce they asked me to help them out. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. May I present my cameraman, James Jennings? Uh, how do you do, sir? How do you do? Uh, this is Judge Williams, Mr. Kane, and Mr. B- Jennings. Ah, good evening, good evening, Judge. Fine evening, isn't it? One of the best. Reminds me of an evening we shot in a picture called Tropical Interlude. Same sky, exactly. Won't you sit down? Oh, playing checkers. Well, I play a bit myself. Got you in the corner, hasn't he, Mayor? Uh, Just what is it I'm to do for you, Mr. Kane? Well, now, sir, we won't keep you a minute. We realize you're a busy man. Now, if you'll just let Mr. Jennings snap your picture, we'll be on our way. Ah, this is a great day for Springdale. Yes, sir, a great day. Say, what is all this? I'll explain it to you later. Now, Mr. Kane, as I understand it, sir, you want to break your story in the morning paper. Yes, sir. Can't you see the headlines now? Globe Pictures chooses Springdale as cross-section of America, launches drive to find ideal father for newest Globe production, Papa Dear. Well, that's a rather long headline, isn't it, Mr. Kane? Globe Pictures thinks in long headlines, Mr. Mayor. This is fantastic. Uh, This contest will last three days, is that right? Three days during which every Springdale father will run for this signal honor offered by Globe Pictures. Anyone may submit a father along with an essay of 50 words or less. My candidate for Papa Dear is so-and-so and because. And to the winner comes fame and fortune and a Hollywood contract. Well, I don't know whether the fathers of Springdale will thank you for this or not. Mr. Mayor, believe me, this is the day that every father dreams about. And now, Mr. Mayor, will you just shake hands? Uh, good heavens, he talks. My cameraman is a man of few words. <laughs> Well, that's perfectly understandable. 
Now, as I was saying, Mayor, will you just shake Mr. Kane's hand while I grab a picture? It'll only take a moment. That's right. Now, take his hand. Now, smile. Smile, Mr. Mayor. Oh, all right, all right, all right. That's it. That's right. Make with the teeth. Yeah, lots of teeth, Mayor. That's it. Yeah, lots of teeth. Got to have sex appeal, you know. Oh, that's beautiful. There we are. Now, that didn't hurt, did it? Mr. Jennings, are you a dentist or a photographer? <laughs> <laughs> Am I a dentist or a... Oh, 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 oh. Say, that's a good one. Did you get a load of that, Henry? Ah, oh, oh, oh. some sense of humor, Mayor. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just a personality kid, aren't you? Uh, well, we'll be running along, Mayor. Got to rush this film over to the papers. Good evening, Mayor. Judge, Glow Pictures salutes you. And I salute Glow Pictures. Good evening, gentlemen. This way, gentlemen. Good evening. Uh, well, the Chamber of Commerce has pulled some buttes, but this really takes the cake. What was all that? Hollywood, Marilly. That man pinched my cheek and said, Cutie, if you want to come to Hollywood, I'll try and find a spot for you. You're no sweater girl, but you've got a character face. <laughs> I almost hit him with my broom. Cutie. Fresh thing. <laughs> Mayor, if you have those two men here again, I'm leaving. What's a sweater girl? <laughs> Marilly, I just don't know. <laughs> Stop the nonsense. Papa, dear, of all the ridiculous ideas. <laughs> oh, I hope someone I know wins it. <laughs> Please let it be someone I know. Ha <laughs> ha, you thought you had me trapped, didn't you? You didn't notice that man of yours back there, did you? If you keep your mind on the checker game, you'd be a better player. Uh, well, you probably moved the checkers when I wasn't looking. No, a poor loser, huh? Where do you want me to take these papers, Mayor? Oh, uh, really? Oh, oh, those go up to the judge's office. Gee, everyone in town was talking about the Papa Deer contest. Hmm. That sure was a swell picture of you in the paper, Mayor. You sure were smiling. Yeah, I was making with the teeth, Willie. <laughs> hey, Mayor, you're really getting hep. Nonsense. If I had a father, I'd sure like to submit him. Gee, just think, Hollywood. Lana Turner lives in Hollywood, you know. Gee. Well, why don't you submit somebody else's father? I don't know anyone that has an extra one. Everyone's submitting their own father. You know anyone that might like to be submitted, Mayor? No, I don't. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Do I? <laughs> I know just the man. Willie, sit down, son. Sit down. Uh, we stand on the threshold of something truly beautiful, Willie. What would you say to Judge William? The judge? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm kind of afraid of the judge. He's pretty fierce. Oh, nonsense. He's as sweet-tempered as a billy goat. <laughs> Why, you and he could have the time of your life seeing Hollywood together. I'm sure he'd take you if he won. Well, I'll go ask him. I don't know. Oh, you can't ask him. That'd spoil the surprise. No, Willie. It has to be a surprise. Do you think you could canvas up some votes for him at school? I think so. I could try. No one has accumulated many votes so far. Now, Willie, take this paper and pencil. Uh... My candidate for Papa, dear, is Judge Williams. Because he is a fine, honorable man, and... <laughs> I can see him now. You know. <laughs> because he is a fine, honorable man, and... Yeah, now, let me see. This letter must be a rare jewel of literary potency and win for the judge fame and fortune with a Hollywood contract. Now, let's see. Because he is a fine and honorable man and loves little children, he is kind to animals. I won't marry that, sir. How did I get into this preposterous contest anyway? I'll sue the paper. I'll sue the Chamber of Commerce. And I'll sue you for endorsing the thing. <laughs> Papa, dear. <laughs> you look the part. Good, firm jaw, clear blue eyes, nice head of hair, too. You'll be a sensation. Thunderation. Thunderation. 
say you'll give an old friend an autograph, won't you? <laughs> Look, now, we've been friends for a long time. Get me out of this. It's your party. You ought to be able to do something. I just can't be Papa, dear. <laughs> It's an old friend. I'd like to help, but I can't deprive Springdale of this glorious hour. It's only fitting that one of our first citizens should be the recipient of such an honor. The statement said, you are a good man, love little children, and are kind to animals. I smell a rat. <laughs> I smell a long, low, double-crossing, scheming plot. There's something rotten in Denmark, Mayor. And don't think I don't know it. Well, sir... You can play at that game. Mr. Judge, I don't believe I follow you. You will, Mr. Mayor. You will. Good night, sir. Well, aren't you going to finish the check again? Oh, no, I'm going to buy an evening paper. <laughs> Judge Williams, did you send for me, sir? Yes, Willie. Um, come here a minute. Yes, sir. Willie, I want to ask you a question. What in the devil you mean by entering me is Papa there? The mayor said you'd consider it an honor. Oh, he did, did he? Well, it may interest you to know that I don't. Yes, sir. I kind of figured that, sir. Didn't you like the 50 words we wrote about you? No. Oh. Now, Willie, at first I meant to deal very severely with you. I hadn't decided whether to have you beheaded or just put in jail. But now, uh, if you do what I say, I may be disposed to leniency. What do you want me to do? Where's the mayor's granddaughter? Polly Ann? <laughs> She's down at the beach with her mother. Why? At the mayor's cottage? Yes, sir. Very well, Willie. Come with me. You and I are going to pay a little social call on the mayor's granddaughter. Come, sir. <laughs> Now, Holly Ann, this is what you say. My candidate for Papa Dear is my grandfather, the mayor, because he is the first father of the city, and because everyone loves him and comes to him with their troubles, he has a beautiful soul and loves roses. This, people of Springdale, is a great and proud day for your city. One of you is to be America's father. We chose your city as being most typical of the finest that is America. And from your gates comes Globe Pictures' great new personality, Papa Dear. The contest changed at the 11th hour. A new father was entered, followed by a landslide of votes. If he were less prominent, we might call him a dark horse. Oh, sure. Looks like you didn't get it, Judge. Oh, that's a blow. I am proud now to divulge the name of Papa Dear. By your own vote, people of Springdale, I give him to you now. Mayor, will you please step up to the platform? Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't my show. You're doing fine, Mr. Mayor, please, right up here. This way, please. Oh, uh, right sure. Show. Right up here. That's fine. Good morning, Mayor. Right over here, please. Right here, please. That's fine. People of Springdale, you elected him mayor, and now you have chosen him Papa Dear. Oh, man. Now, hold on a minute. There's some mistake. I wasn't the candidate. The judge won. I'm sure of it. Well, well, last night he was way ahead. I'm not the man for this. Now, don't be modest, Mayor. This is your hour. Come, Johnny. Sing your song for the Mayor. Oh, Papa, dear, your loving <sighs> ear bend to us, your children. Your eyes so blue, your heart so true, lend to us, your children. We find you all that you should be. We call you blessed from sea to sea, so near, so dear, and we've come here to tell you you're our Papa dear. And now, Mr. Mayor, or should I say, Papa dear, <laughs> will you honor us with a few words? Uh, um, people of Springdale, I'm truly overwhelmed. I, I, I can't but feel embarrassed at accepting so much at your hands. I, uh... Shh, oh, for the first time in my life, I can't think of a doggone thing to say. <laughs> Well, now, I think the mayor is a pretty good choice for Papa Dear. But I think a special award should go to Springdale's Bill Brady, 
whose papa dear to seven, count them, seven strapping youngsters ranging in age from four to 18 years. And what about Mrs. Bill Brady? Don't I deserve any medals? Indeed you do, Martha. A whole chest full. I was just going to tell the folks about you. Well, then tell them what a quiet morning in the Brady household sounds like. Hey, Mom, did you say I could wear my yellow dress today? Mom, mind if I don't come straight home from school? I've got a date. Oh, Mom, I haven't got a clean handkerchief to my name. Just a sample. <laughs> Never a dull moment, eh? And boy, you must have some wash to do every week. Now, Harlow Wilcox, I don't know why you have to beat around the bush to get me to talk about Rinso. Okay, shoot. Well, first place, I'd be a wreck if I had to scrub and boil clothes. That's a plenty good reason for using Rinso. And second place, our clothes have to last. Because just between you and me, they get handed down. From Mary to Janie to Gwen to Dottie and so on. Now, oh, good idea, Mrs. Brady. That gentle rinse method's mighty easy on clothes. Soaks them clean. Then, with a few quick finger rubs, they're ready to rinse. Folks with big families surely do appreciate the new anti-sneeze rinse And the way they cheer those gloriously rinse white whitewashes is music to my ears. Well, now, let's see how the mayor is getting along with the Papa Deer contest. <laughs> I know you all want to hear about Papa, dear. Well, he's slightly under six feet. He has iron gray hair and beautiful hazel eyes. He usually carries peppermints in his pockets for children. And ladies, he's not married. <laughs> Merrily, turn that dratted radio uh, Every time I turn around, I fall over reporters and photographers and salesmen. One of them snapped me taking down your wash this morning. Yeah. Uh. Heaven knows what they'll make of that. I found one in the broom closet a little while ago, but he won't be bothering us for a while. Oh, now, Marilee. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to stay with you or not, Mayor. Mm. I could have told you 30 years ago that I didn't like reporters in with my brooms, but I never thought the subject would arise. Are you a fair-weather friend, Marilee? Would you two desert the sinking ship? If you ask me, you were scuttled. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I can't understand this at all. How could I have been elected overnight like this? And, and how did Holly Ann get the idea of entering me anyhow? She's 50 miles from me. Oh, there's more to this than meets the eye, all right. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, it's you. Hi, cutie. Hi. Coming to Hollywood with the mayor. Ah, uh, good morning, Papa dear. Now, see here, Mr. King. I want to talk to you. If you think I'm going to tolerate all this nonsense, you're out of your mind. I'm a decent, Hello? law-abiding citizen, yes, and no one's going to take house. that away from me. Why? I know my constitutional oh, rights. See. Mayor, uh, a uh, mail order house is on the line. They want to bring out a Papa Deer nightcap and nightshirt, special $1.97. Oh, by heaven. Tell them Papa you. Deer considers it an honor. You keep out of this. I'd be ashamed if it was me having people know what I slept in. Oh, <laughs> I don't suppose it matters. All this but... stuff and nonsense. Hello? No. Oh. Well, he says it all right. Mr. Kane, I'm yes. not an intolerant man, but I can be tried too far. Oh, Mayor, they want to know if you'll model one for their cover. There's a sensational idea. <laughs> Give me the phone, Marilly. Yes. Hello? No! Stuff and nonsense. Now, Mayor, my cameraman is coming up any minute to take a few intimate pictures of you. You know, shots of you at your checkerboard and at your front door. Maybe one coming down the staircase here. I always heard there was no rest of the way. Mm, you're certainly having a busy morning, Mayor. Brought a little excitement into your life, haven't we? Yeah, well, you better take it right out again, quick, or there's going to be some fireworks. Oh, good morning, Mayor. I'm from the Black Music Publishers, and we brought out a little number called uh, Papa Dear Polka. We'd like your picture and signature for the cover. I don't like polka. Oh, <laughs> Oh, but you will this one. It goes uh, something like this. I think I'm going crazy. Ah, uh, it's really a delightful melody, don't you think? This will make the hit parade, and we miss our guess. Now, see here, young man, you're wasting your time. I'm not having my picture on any poker. Do you understand that? Is that clear? Just a minute, I'll see. The Chamber of Commerce is on the phone, Mayor. They want to tell you how proud they are of you. 
Well, you tell the Chamber of Commerce I have a few words to say to them and that they needn't think I won't be down to say them. Oh, I've only got one pair of legs. Take your <laughs> finger off that doorbell. Thirty years of being respectable, and now this... Suppose I answer the door, Mayor. Oh, ho, the press! Come, Papa dear, and meet your public. Oh, the mayor always uses old garden after shave lotion. Kitty's Papa Deer always eats little corporal string beans and little corporal canned carrots. Papa Deer wears ready made union suits. I saw them on his back lawn. Every night, Papa Deer has a nightly game of checkers with his old friend, Judge Williams, whom he calls Spoopy. Ladies, I'm proud to tell you that the Papa Deer Bachelor Button has won first prize at the flower show. Here it is, a winner, first place on your hit parade from coast to coast, the Papa Deer Polka! Minnie. Minnie, this is the mayor. Yes, mayor, where are you? Shh, don't talk so loud. I'm in the potato bin in the basement. I, I, I've... Plugged in a phone extension. The potato bin. Well, yeah. you'd better get down here to the office. The place is swarming with photographers and reporters. This is the first time I've been alone in days. They follow me everywhere I go. I can't even take a bath alone. Oh. Marilly won't even speak to me anymore. Life, look, pick, click, and snap. Want to get some informal pictures of you. Um, Minnie, when am I supposed to dedicate the new city hall? Tomorrow. Oh, do you, you suppose I could go down now? I could take a cot with me and spend the night. Don't be silly. You'd catch a death of lumbago. Here's your lunch, Mayor. Uh, Eat it while it's hot. Uh, goodbye, Minnie. I'll call you back. Perfectly <laughs> ridiculous having to carry meals down to the cellar. What did you cook? Oh, stew. Did you have to cook stew? Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Mayor, I'm quitting. Huh? I've stood it as long as I could, and I can't stand it anymore. The judge has offered me a job, and I've accepted. I'm leaving in the morning. Marilly, you've been with me 30 years. We've been through plenty together. No, 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 don't coax me, don't coax me. There's been a good many straws piled on this camel's back, and it's at last broken. Marilly, I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, there's an old saying that no one can deny. You never miss the water until the well runs dry. Someone wrote that in my autograph album when I was in school. I knew I'd find a use for it if I waited long enough. <laughs> come on now. Come on, eat your dinner. No, no, I don't care for any dinner. I couldn't eat a bite. Marilly, what can I say to you? Mm. What, what is it to say but thank you? Thank you for the years you've given me. I, I wish I hadn't grown to depend on you so much. I wish I could say go and be merry without me, but I can't. It's hard to be an old man and suddenly lose your right arm. That's what you are to me, Marilly, my good right arm. Well, you better go now. This is something I'll have to face alone. Well, maybe I could wait until next week. No, 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 no. Why prolong the agony? Go in the morning, Marilly. I wish you well. I, I always will. Who'll you get to take my place? Well, I... Maybe I should get married, Marilly. This place will seem drab indeed without the light of a woman's smile. Get married? Yes, you'd probably do some bullheaded thing like that if I wasn't here to look after you. You'd jump right out of the frying pan into the fire. Uh, well, goodbye, Marilly. Goodbye. Well, maybe I'll give you one more chance. Leaving your loans like leaving a two-year-old baby. It's almost criminal. Merrily, you're wonderful. Will you stay? Uh -huh. and, and, and may I have a steak? I, I have enough trouble without having to eat stew. Oh, stuff and nonsense. Well, I'll see. Hello, Mayor. I just drove over. Quite an office you have here in the cellar. Hello, Minnie. Sit down on the barrel. There's a big crowd outside. I had to sneak through. Now, let's get down to business, Mayor. You've had 1,730 proposals of marriage in this morning's mail. Mm -hmm. Over 500 products want endorsements. You're famous. Oh, Minnie, I've had enough of this. I never heard of such foolishness in my life. I, I haven't a shred of dignity left. I went out on the street yesterday, and I was mobbed before I got to the corner. They had little children waiting outside the gate to sprinkle roses before me. Oh, so here you are, Papa dear. <laughs> Uh, this potato bin is beginning to be about as private as the Brooklyn Navy Yard. Well, I've got to be getting back to the office. I'll call you later, Mayor. I knew I'd find you if I looked hard enough. Your face is dirty. 
Brutus. Brutus Williams, if I ever saw one. I've been learning your song. It has a magnificent ring to it. Oh, Papa dear, your loving ear. Then Shut to up, us. you old <laughs> fool. Mayor, may an old friend have an autograph? You can go to Blazer. See, how do I look? I'm wearing a Papa dear fedora. My trousers are held up by Papa Deer suspenders, and I'm smoking Papa Deer tobacco. Rather an inferior brand, I might add. But no one can say I'm not a loyal friend. Old friend, old pal, come to laugh over my prostrate body, pouring salt on my bleeding wound. You know what I think every time I see you? Huh. I think, there but for the grace of God go I. <laughs> you ran me a close race, but the best man won. I never will know how. What happened? You were ahead by hundreds of votes. Uh, not as many as it was thought. It uh, seems that there was some kind of a miscount. Well, who, who collected those votes? Didn't the district attorney's office? Uh, well, yes, yes. I, I think they did have something to do with it. Ah, you have access to those offices, don't you? Well, a great many people have. Yes, yeah, so they do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, doesn't it seem strange to you that there could have been so great a miscount in the number of votes you got that I, entering the contest at the last minute, was able to beat you? No, I don't think so. You don't, huh? Well, I do. <laughs> Good afternoon, Judge. I, I leave you for a time, and in parting, may I remind you of an old adage that begins, He laughs best who laughs last. Where are you going? Where are you going, sir? to see a man about an adding machine. My friends and neighbors of Springdale, believe me, I'm grieved to have been of concern to you, but uh, during the past few hours, I was untangling a certain matter in which we are all much interested. Recently, I was voted winner in the contest to choose Papa Dear. It was a proud and wonderful moment to me, but one to which I must tell you now I was not entitled. Yesterday, in searching for some city records in the office of one of our members of the bar, I discovered a bunch of votes that had somehow escaped tabulation. I, in the intervening time and in the name of justice, have counted those votes, and so... I must come before you to say that the honor that was mine must be relinquished to one of my old and loved friends. In the complete and final count, my friends, your overwhelming choice for Papa Dear is Judge Jim Williams. Jim, my congratulations, sir. Hey, what is this? This is an outrage. It's a lie. It's a... I demand a recount. Turn your face this way, Judge, so we can get a picture. Thank Isn't you. Isn't the mayor a wonderful sport giving up everything like this? Come on, Johnny. Papa, dear, your loving ear bent to... Mayor, us. I appeal to you in the name of charity. Get me out of here. I can't breathe. Judge, what do you think of the war situation? Are you married, Judge? Drop us a postcard from Hollywood, Jim. Mayor, don't do this to me. Wait. What is your favorite color, Judge? You like blondes or brunettes? Your public calls, Judge. What are you <laughs> laughing at, you old fool? <laughs> <laughs> Jim, old pal, but for the grace of God, there go I. Mr. Barrymore will be back in just a moment, but first a question. Can all you nature lovers identify this bird call? Very good. A bob white it is. And what's the little bird telling you about? Rinse out, rinse out. Happy little wash day song. That's right. And say, any housewife who takes pride in the wash she hangs on the line would sing about Rinso White. No wonder Rinso is the only soap recommended by the makers of 33 leading washers, among them the famous Kenmore. And that famous Rinso run, as little as five minutes, is another reason why the Kenmore people recommend Rinso. For with new washers out for the duration, you certainly want to take the best possible care of your machine. So have your Kenmore checked by your local Sears store. And remember, use Rinso in your wash regularly. It saves your washer and your clothes. Mr. Barrymore appears on our show through courtesy of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer Studios. And now, Mr. Barrymore. 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be back with you again next week to continue this series of programs, but at a different time and on a different station. We'll be on the air from now on on Wednesday evenings, starting Wednesday, October the 7th. So please consult your local paper for exact time and station. I do hope you'll be with us. Good night. Our script is written by Miss Jean Holloway. Harlow Wilcox speaking and bidding you good night. This program comes to you from Hollywood. This is the National Broadcasting Company. <laughs>